telling us where Stripe is today? Uh, so we're just about a year after launching Stripe, um, and mostly we're just trying to keep up with the, the growth that we're seeing. Uh, we just expanded to our first non-US markets, which means that people uh, in Canada can now pay into with Stripe. Before that, it was only people in the US. Uh, and so we're sort of trying to keep up with the growth we're seeing in US and Canada and bring Stripe to more countries, uh, while sort of continuing to improve the, the main product. So it's sort of expanding on all fronts. That's great news. And um, I mean, there's a huge a competition in online payments and there's a lot of speakers from big giants and innovators here today. What do you think makes Stripe stand out? Um, there's, there's always been a lot of people sort of playing at online payments and even when we, when we started out uh, there were sort of tons of people that could be considered competitors. Um, we're always sort of just focused on building the best product and you know tr trying to make the whole process work really well and so uh, uh, if, if we were particularly perturbed about competitors we'd, we'd never even have started. Um, so from our perspective not, not all that much has changed. It's a great Irish attitude too, I love that. And um, there's a lot of startups here today as well that would be in the position that you were two, three years ago. What advice would you have for them? I think the biggest, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of platitudes sort of about startups that turn out to be totally true. Uh, and one of them is that you just focus on the product as much as you can, just make sure you get that right. And if you get the product right, you can mess almost anything else up. In that if, if you look at the history of Twitter, I mean, they've basically messed up everything constantly, and yet the product is so good that they survive. Um, that and, again, sort of, it's often said, but it's so true, that the people that you hire are everything. And so, like, I think, I think if you have a really good product and you hire really good people, it's very hard for it to, for it to go wrong. Um, and then the last thing, I guess, is, uh, you should expect it to be really hard. Uh, startups are, in fact, pretty tough going. You'll like constantly doubt yourself, and yeah. And um, so, where you are now, we know you're, you're expanding. Could you reveal anything about future plans for Stripe? I mean, we want Stripe to be available in in every country, uh, and people in Ireland here are like constantly badgering me as to when Stripe will be available, and so that's a that's a really big part of it. Um, but in general, we sort of think about online transactions as a whole and sort of all the different devices they happen on and all the different kinds of transactions, and we sort of think about how we could make all of them better. And so we've only really started with a very kind of specific set so far. Um, we're, we're making it easier for people to accept credit cards, but we want any internet payment to, to work really well, and so we're, we're sort of thinking about all of it.